What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan. Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy 25th of December day. It means so much so much to me that you would join me today. As mentioned in all 25 of the previous day's videos, the link to download all 26 Adobe Illustrator files is in the description below. Before you do, I just ask that you would click like on this video. Please consider subscribing if you have not yet. It means so much to me. And with that, let's get started. Once you are in Adobe Illustrator, I have a 1920 by 1080 document open. Feel free to work with whatever, whatever document size you want. Hopefully this helps somebody. We are going to start off by making some shapes to get the base of our letter done just by grabbing your rectangle tool over here on the left hand side or you can hit M on your keyboard. We are going to make this shape 500 pixels by 100 pixels. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to get rid of the stroke. Now we're going to go back to our selection tool by hitting V on your keyboard or clicking this button right up here. Now click holding Alt, drag this down a bit, drag this and then do the same thing one more time. And now go to your selection tool you already have it selected click on the end point here where you have the rounded arrow holding shift rotate this around so it's 45 degrees if you hold shift that way it locks it into 45 degree increments makes that way easier now holding control you're still on your selection tool click on this anchor point right here drag it over and it'll lock on to you'll see it snap on to the anchor point of this piece and then the same thing for up here. So select your object. And then we're gonna do the same thing up here. Select this object, holding control, click and drag this over until it locks onto that anchor point. You see it snap on there. And now we are going to go to our direct selection tool. That is the arrow below the selection tool. And now we're going to look for this one right here. We're gonna click and drag this down over here. Boom, it says intersect. The, the far left line is still pink, so that means it is straight, and then let go. Now that shape only goes to that shape. And we're going to do the same thing down here. Click, holding shift, drag this up, and then let go. And now we can grab these exterior uh, pieces over here and then go until they show a pink line there. They're lining up with the lower shape. And then we can do the same thing with this one until it lines up with the upper shape. I'm just gonna group these together really fast just to center them up on the artboard and we're gonna scale this up some just so it's a little easier for everyone to see. I probably would never make one this big, but it will be easier for you to see. And we're going to right click, I'm going to ungroup these. You didn't need to, oops. You didn't need to group them, so. And this actually is not lined up perfectly, so we're going to make sure, drag this up until it's right there. See if this one is. I believe so. That one's good. Corner's still good. Good to go there. And now while we have the direct selection tool, we're going to actually click on this corner here and this corner down here by holding shift. And then we're going to click and drag these, both these corners in as far as they'll go. And then we're going to click on this one and holding shift, click on this one as well. Drag these in. Same thing with down here, we're going to click on this one and then holding shift, click and drag these in as far as they'll go. Perfect. Now go to your pen tool, grab your pen tool, go up here. We're going to start up here in this corner over here. We're going to click over here, about here, and then we're going to drag this up some, somewhere to about there. And then we can just hit escape to get out of that stroke. Or, uh, that pen tool and now we're going to swap the fill and the stroke around that way it is the uh, not a stroke like it would have been this but you just can see it because the same color as the base layer and once and then we're going to grab this stroke right here we're going to reflect this around vertically once horizontally once horizontally once and then we're going to create a copy drag this down and then we're going to right click on it again reflect and rotate it vertically once and now we can just hit okay 
And now we're going to hold control, click on this anchor point, and then we're going to drag this down here so it locks onto that anchor point. This way, these two pieces are exactly the same. I guess you could have just created this piece up here, but. And now we're going to, we already have our selection tool, so we're just going to select this piece over to our Pathfinder panel. It may be down here, and if it is not there, go to Window, go to Pathfinder. And now you can just divide these by clicking the divide right here. And now you can right click, ungroup, and now you should have two individual pieces. If you don't and you can't figure it out, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. We're gonna do the same thing for this piece as well. Select both of those, go to divide again on your Pathfinder tool, right click, ungroup, and now you should have two separate pieces just like you did the top. And now we're going to start applying some of our gradients. So make sure you have your fill selected and we're just gonna use this green color for now. And then we're going to go to our gradient and I guess we could have just done it that way. Apply the gradient. And now same thing with this one but we're going to hit I and then we're going to select that gradient and then we're just going to swap this around. So then it goes this way and this piece, I haven't decided what we're going to do on this piece yet. So stand by. And then this one, we're going to just select that gradient. Same thing for this one. We're going to grab this one, but for this one, looks like we'll swap this gradient around and we'll swap the gradient around on this one. Go do something like that, and then this one. Something like so. This doesn't actually look black. Whoops. That's because it's not actually black. So make sure your gradient is actually black, because that's definitely not black. I don't know what color that is, but apparently it's not black. Okay, now that that's done, we're actually going to create a copy of this piece. So control, select your object, control C, control F, and that will create a copy in the front. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap this around so it's just a stroke. And now grab your C, hit C on your keyboard, or grab your scissors, your scissors tool. And now we're going to cut this anchor there. And then we're going to do the same thing down here where it says anchor, we're gonna cut that one. V on your keyboard and select this piece and you can just delete that. We just want this path that's right here in the middle and now we can increase this stroke up some. Then we're gonna go into the stroke properties, go to uniform, or go into the profile and now click on this one. That way it nice, tapers out nicely. And then we're gonna go into this stroke and we are going to make it green on both ends. And we're gonna change this one to a white. We're gonna probably leave that in the middle, but we're gonna click on these little diamonds here and move this in so it's a little bit tighter. And which way do we need to move this? So it's kind of more in the middle over here. That looks about right. Move that in some. There we go, that'll look nice. So now we can do the same thing for this one. Control C, Control F. You could have just saved copies of the strokes. So if you're not following along, you can just do that. Make copies of those strokes initially, move them over and then move them back. But since I didn't do that, we have to do it this way. Hit C on your keyboard, cut the anchor, cut the anchor. Go back to your selection tool, select this left path. And now you should have this path here in the middle. Crank that up, hit I. Now you can select this gradient down here. It'll be, it'll just get you the gradient. That way it's the same, then you just have to move this over. So go to your stroke. We need to change the profile of the stroke. Then click and drag this over. So it's somewhere over there. Somewhere's about like that. And we're gonna drag this over some so it's a little bit of a sharper point. All right, looking good there. This one, I haven't quite decided what I want to do in this one, but we'll get there. And if you watched my previous video, you'll, you'll know exactly what we're doing on this one. We're going to hold Alt, drag this over, and then we're going to select a stroke. 
and we're going to crank this up to probably like 40 whoops that's 60 go to 40 and that'll be good and then with your object selected go to object expand appearance and now go to your pathfinder tool and hit divide now go to your direct selection tool and you should be able to pull just that piece out and move that down here and then you can just delete this one cancel now we're going to make the gradient for that reflection this will just have a reflection we don't want it to be on the stroke we definitely want the fill go to white and black change whoops change this one to white and probably 0% and then we're going to change this one make sure you select that over to 40 now we can change the gradient so the reflection is coming from whichever way we want that looks good or if we can just click and drag this up here how close that will be not very but we can rotate this around so it should be really close for the top piece and that's pretty close so we're going to call that good for there since we made this stroke exactly the same this will be exactly the same as well so now we just need to make one for this piece so again hold click hold alt drag that over give it a stroke then we're going to change this one up into like 40 we might make this one only like 30 since it's a little bit smaller of a piece so we're going to go with 30. now if you have your object selected go to expand appearance click divide go to a hit a on your keyboard for your direct selection tool and now just drag this over out of there and find a good spot for it that looks good there now hit i on your keyboard to pull up your eyedropper and we're going to select the gradient that was from that piece we can delete this whoops i guess we need to ungroup it delete that and now we can click and hold alt and drag this down here and we just need to rotate this around and it looks like we're going to need to bring this to the front so you can just control shift left bracket oops control shift right bracket sorry and then drag this down and we're going to line this up with the other reflection there it's actually probably not a bad idea we'll line this one up we're going to leave that one there we're going to line that up and move that over a little bit so it lines up with the other reflection on the bottom and that looks good there and now for this middle piece we're going to make it this green color then we're going to grab our pen tool grab our pen tool look here and we're going to go over to our and where it intersects go all the way up to the anchor and hit uh, hit escape now select both of those objects click divide Oops. So undo that. Make sure this is just a stroke. Make sure this is just a stroke. So swap that around, change this around so it's like a black color. Oops. There we go. So now you can see that that's just a stroke. Select both of these, hit divide, right click, ungroup, and now you should have two pieces again. Control C, Control F. And then I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and I'm going to select the gradient from one of these two pieces. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And again, what I should have done was selected the gradient or the stroke and made a copy of that. So now we're just going to do what we did the first time. Control C, Control F, swap these around so that it is just a stroke. And we are going to give it a color of just black. Hit C on your keyboard, go down here to where it intersects. Down here, cut that. Go over to the other one, cut that anchor. And now we don't want the middle one, so now we can just hit C. I'm sorry, we don't want the, uh, we don't want the exterior one, so we can just click on that and then hit delete. And now we'd have the stroke that's just left in the middle. The path I should say so now try and click on the path there we go 
So what I did there was I clicked on this piece and then control shift left bracket. And then I clicked on this piece, control shift left bracket as well, sending them both as far back as I can. And now that place this up top in front of those, making it much easier to click on. And now we're going to increase the stroke some. Probably that far or so. And now as before, go over to your stroke properties, go to stroke and change it to that one that tapers off. Now hit I on your keyboard and then we're going to hit I on your keyboard and we're going to select this one again. But we're going to go over here to our stroke and we're actually going to add another one of these. So it'll have two spots where it's a little more shiny. That's what that's supposed to resemble is where it's got some shine to it, like a reflection. Get this down some, probably right about there. And if that don't look unique, I don't know what does. So we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna grab our ellipse tool and then we're gonna swap these around and we're going to grab just a white and black, whoops. Get off the stroke, add the fill, go to the white and black, grab a radial gradient, and then we're going to just click and drag this out so it's something like so. Hit G on your keyboard, and then we're gonna drag this in. Click on this one, drag this up. Now we're gonna hit V on your keyboard, go back to your selection tool. We're gonna drag this over here put this about where this reflection would be. And now we're going to go to your opacity panel, your transparency panel, somewhere, click on opacity, and we're going to change this to color dodge. So that way it's got that, where that reflection should be. You can change this so it's uh, something like so. Drag this down if it needs to be a little bit smaller. So right about there. And now we're just going to right click, arrange, or I'm sorry, transform, go to reflect. And probably vertically or horizontally, either one, doesn't matter. We just need to make a copy. Flip this around right about there. I guess these are actually the same. So now we could right click, transform, reflect horizontally, make a copy. We can drag this up here. So it'll be somewhere about like so. Somewhere about like that. And then click, hold alt, drag that up. So it'll drag that up onto this piece as well. Something like so. That looks pretty good. So now we're gonna select all of this, right click, group. I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit, something like that. We're going to line this up in the center. Now we're going to make our background, go to rectangle, and we're just going to make this a black fill. Click here, drag this down, go to intersect right there. So now control shift, left bracket, that'll send that all the way to the back. Once you've placed your background in the back, you can hit control two and that will lock the background in place. So then you don't have to worry about that. And now we're going to grab our ellipse tool one more time. We're going to, we are going to grab a gradient. We are going to make this gradient green and black. Now we're gonna click and drag this out. So it's something like so. Bring this down. We're going to edit this gradient substantially. Drag this down. Something like that, drag this out. Probably somewhere around there, whoopsies. We can hit control left bracket until it is below the, the shape there. Something like that. It's probably even a little much. We can edit this gradient here, drag that in some so it's not quite as ridiculously bright. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to select this piece. Oops, 
we can lock this layer so that way it's not in the way. Select our Z, right click, transform, reflect, horizontally, hit OK. And now while holding shift, drag this down so it's something like this. And now hit V, go over to your rectangle tool, click and drag this over that. We're gonna go up here to our black and white gradient, radial, and now hit G. And then we're gonna start up here in this corner and drag this up, holding shift, that way it's a perfectly straight line. Drag this down some so it's kinda of like that. And now what we're gonna do is drag our mouse over the gradient that we just made and the original shape. Go over here to your transparency panel. If you don't have that, go to Windows, go down to Transparency. And then we're gonna click Make Mask. And that should give us a pretty good reflection there. And that's it. That concludes today's video. Again, thank you so much for joining me. It means so much to me. Merry Christmas. Click the like button before you leave for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't yet, make sure to consider subscribing. Click on this link right here. And if you want more content like this right now, make sure to click on these two links or you can click on the link below that is in the pinned comment. Thank you so much. God bless. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video.